what's up guys if you want to join the fandom menace then why don't you go ahead and click the subscribe button right there and ring the bell so that you'd be notified when i upload thank you so much what's up guys this is Javon Steelers here and i must apologize for the last video i um the last video was kind of rushed and uh, i deleted it I, it's gone i deleted it I didn't like the commentary, I didn't like the points that I made, barely. All I did was stutter half the entire time. Um, coming back onto YouTube, uh, the past, um, since I've been on hiatus for the past two months, um, kind of has been put me in an interesting spot. I had more time to play Destiny, I had more time to play Warframe, and whatnot, and really compared the two. And um, in terms of, uh, Playability, I feel like Destiny is definitely the, the lacking one, even though it's free to play now. I, it's free to play now. It's free to play. Oh my goodness. Destiny, another looter shooter is free to play on the market, which is already saturated and gone to death. So, um, yeah, Destiny 2 in 2020. It feels insanely, insanely casual. And I, I, I say that in kind of like a good way or a bad way. So, okay, I have a job, okay? I, I work, I come home, I just want to unwind, I play a game. Destiny is not likely the one I boot up because it's just, it's, I'm not playing Destiny for the difficulty. I'm not, and I, I feel like no one else is playing Destiny for the difficulty too. I'm not playing Destiny for the, uh, the story. I feel like no one else is playing Destiny for the story too. And I, honestly, I, I feel like that's a shame, but it's just that's the way how things are. Um, the DLCs are there, uh, with the, uh, the free pack, I mean the free account thing. Um, all the ways are there, the strikes and, and gambits, and then the, um, yeah, the crucible mode. A lot of content is there. However, I feel like my power level, which is at uh, 800 something, and it might be close to 800, I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's just more than enough for me to get through the Red War easily, and then go on to the next campaign, which is Curse of Old, Curse, Curse of Salad, or, or something, I have no idea. Um, uh, uh, well, it, that, that's your difficulty. And then the rest is just, you know, just standard five types of enemies, uh, really inspired anthem five types of enemies. Very diverse um, enemies, but the, the loot is there. The loot is there, it's pretty good. Even though it's a free account and, uh, and you're not getting very much loot as you would in a paid game. But in 2020, me, myself personally, I am not going to drop a dime on this game i'm not going to um no i'm not going to uh, jesus christ mention the amount of craziness and, and controversies that happened yesteryear the only thing i'm saying right now is uh i wish i should have said in my other video but what i'm going to say right now is that <sighs> destiny was Painfully, it painfully, painfully misses potential, and I can just see it all over the place, and it, it really it bothers me to see that potential wasted each time I booted the game. But it's nothing more but a time waster. That's it's just how I see it. It's a time waster. It's a very fine, very okay time waster. You have a good amount of loot. You have some interesting characters. Perhaps you even care to bother um, knowing them anyway. You have some uh, fetch quests here and there. But really, really, on the surface, I just I feel very tired and annoyed of the potential there. Uh, that's that's just me. I mean. Um, Maybe I shouldn't be complaining. It's free to play. It's free to play. But we have Dauntless. We have Warframe. Fortnite is, is banking right now. And it's just... 
Destiny really is just another... I'll give this game another year. Another year. Until it's just completely forgotten. Next year, 2021, is going to be completely forgotten. Harvey in time for Destiny 3. Um, will I pick up that game? No, I will not. No. No. In this trend of what's going on with the uh, game industry, if you can't think of anything new, if you can't think of anything fresh, if you don't have time to think of anything fresh, if you waste your time going back and forth and years on concept art like Anthem did, then it's just going to result into a looter shooter, which is just what's happened in the past decade, in the past seven years or so. Looter shooters blew up. And I feel like that itself, the, the genre itself, is on is a ticking bomb. It's a ticking bomb. Nothing lasts forever. I feel like the end of the hype for looter shooters is coming in. It's right after Anthem, right after the, the disaster, disaster is Anthem. Destiny had a lot, a lot of bumps in the road. It was just pretty much non nonsensical. I don't really feel like I should have an advantage right now playing a game, jumping into the game, when people have been writing it since the release day and they've been burnt out. They, after release after the DLC after DLC after DLC or expansion packs or whatever. I feel for those people. I feel for those burnt out um, fans who just who just annoyed and very tired of, of Bungie's nonsense. And they've changed a bit though. Bungie has changed a bit to know their audience. But when, I feel like majority of the audience are people who are who left the series like I did and are coming back. We're coming back now, and I see all this content here. Oh, it's just it's dripping with content, absolutely delicious. But it wasn't there for those other people who spent money in the franchise. And knowing that, that just completely annoys me. It bothers me, it annoys me, and I just, I, I don't, I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it. The best thing is pretty much, it's like a, it's like an ex-girlfriend that you, that you sort of like, but you keep her a number and then you check on her once every few weeks. That's about it. But it's still an ex-girlfriend. The, the relationship is done. It's done. But there's still some tugging there. That's why I feel like with Destiny. I was there for Destiny 1, the early days, and I left. I was there for uh, the DOC, the, the, uh, the, the first DOC, Church of Osiris, and then I left. <sighs> but it's 2020. Uh, maybe Bungie can pull something, I, I don't know, pull something amazing. Maybe they can. Maybe you have to just be opti optimistic. No, no, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not, I'm not going to bother. Um, so, that's my thoughts, feelings, in general for Destiny. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want videos, please. Subscribe, like the video, we be plenty more of this to come. And uh, I am also live streaming on Twitch very often. I stream on Twitch. I do a bit of Kingdom Hearts, but I have uh, another video on that. I promise it will be. It will be up before we mind is out, I promise. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Stay around.